Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video because maybe it means that you two are looking to take better care of the items that you already own and extend their life. So thank you so much for doing that. Today I will be showing you how to take care of wool garments and leather goods as well. So first I'm going to show you how to clean and treat leather shoes and bags with leather conditioner to extend their life and um, just improve how they look if they've gotten a little scratched or worn. Okay, so as you can see, a number of these boots have the toes scratched up and I'm going to treat them with leather conditioner to lessen the appearance of some of those scratches and also just to treat the boots, make them more water resistant and um, extend their life and prevent cracking. So first I'm going to take a barely dampened cloth and wipe away any dirt on the boots. This was, will help the leather conditioner soak into the boots better and you won't be like rubbing in dirt into your boots and it's just good to clean them up. And it's important to use a very lightly damp cloth so that the boot isn't overly wet when you're applying the leather conditioner. For rags, I just use cut up old garments that have fallen into disrepair. If you ask me, rags should literally be tatters of old clothes that were loved for a long time. I'm so glad to be making this video today. I've been wanting and planning to make more content centered around maintaining the things we already own rather than um, focusing on buying new things and replacing. And conditioning leather goods is a great way to extend their life. I know for Doc Martens in particular, you're supposed to treat them with a conditioner maybe twice a year. I've known some people that have had like leather docks that cracked because they didn't condition them. And it also makes leather more water resistant and leather resistant to condition it. I do support buying leather products secondhand because I think, or I mean I believe and I know that it gives those items a second life and it's so much better than them going to waste. I've known vegans that are just against wearing any leather at all, even if it's secondhand, but I think it's more wasteful to buy ve new vegan leather goods over something that already exists in the world. And I also think leather is a great and very durable material. It's breathable. Yeah, so I will always buy leather secondhand. Yes, the methods of getting leather are brutal and terrible and not good, but if you buy it secondhand, you can get the benefits of the material without adding to waste or creating more demand for those practices to be used. Now that my boots are all nice and cleaned up, I am going to take a soft cloth. A piece of an old t-shirt is great to use for this purpose. And I'm going to apply a little drop of the leather conditioner to the cloth. I am just using this leather lotion. I will link below a more eco-friendly or less toxic one below if it exists. I don't know anything about this leather conditioner. I just happen to have it. So now that I have a little drop of the leather conditioner on my cloth, I am going to apply it to my boot making small circles. And this will fill in any scuffs on the toe, any scuffs on the heel, and just darken those places. If you're conditioning a light leather, like a tan or a gray, you should note that the leather conditioner will darken the overall color of the leather good which can be a good thing if you have a piece that is discolored in certain places. You can try using a leather conditioner to darken the rest of the piece and kind of match and conceal those um, places of discoloration. But yeah, important to note that it will darken the overall color of lighter leather goods. There. 
that's looking pretty shiny and nice and like it looks almost brand new, doesn't it? You should also be careful when treating lighter leather products not to put like a big dollop of the leather conditioner and then just like placing it on one part of the boot. You want to use a little bit and work up from there so that you don't get any spots. But with black, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I want to show a before and after for the next two boots that I'm going to do because they have pretty bad scuffing on the toes and I think it will be a pretty dramatic transformation. All of these boots I bought secondhand. I got these Capizios at the thrift store and the elastic was broken on one of the buckles and I took them to a cobbler and had it replaced and now they're good as new. But I haven't been wearing them because they've been scuffed so I should be wearing them more. A good area to centralize the conditioner is like around the bunion um, or like toe bridge area because I know that those are areas that can crack if leather isn't treated right. Wow, that really made such a huge difference. I'll bring this up here so you can see what I'm doing. See that scuff? We're going to buff that out, buff that right out. It's really satisfying and meditative to take care of the things you already own and being like, I love these boots so much, I'm gonna take care of them because they serve me well. And it's such a pain to have to replace a favorite item of yours. What better way to be more sustainable than to make sure that you don't have to do that? It's looking so shiny and good. Yeah, so I just put a teeny, teeny drop and I'm making circular motions giving it a nice conditioning because leather is porous it's like our skin our skin needs to be needs lotion and to be conditioned because otherwise it'll dry out and crack such a huge difference look at that there's still some scuffs that could maybe use some like black polish but I don't have that and I'm perfectly happy just conditioning. Alright, so that concludes the leather portion of the day. Let's move on to how to brush out a wool coat. Um, and this will apply to like felt wool coats, like winter coats, and also to suits um, that are made from like a twill. This is a 100% wool coat that I got at the thrift store. It is a long felt jacket. When I got this coat, I knew that I would have to invest in a wool brush to maintain it and take care of it. I think the previous owner did not and I could just tell that it needed some love. So I asked for one of these for Christmas. This is a suit brush or wool brush you can search for. So this care is going to be how you'll take care of wool suits and wool coats. So basically, you just brush it out, and this is something that you can do every day if you want to, or before any time that you're going to wear your suit. On spots for this coat that are like super, they have lots of like pet hair on them or lint, I will sometimes brush up because that'll open up the fibers and allow those things to get removed and then brush down. Because for a super like thick felt material, sometimes a lint roller won't pick it up because they're just really stuck there in the fibers. And also lint rollers on really like high quality wools can leave a residue and so um, that's why you would want a wool brush instead. So you can start with the lapels. Can you see that? You can start with the lapels and brush downward on those and as I'm doing this I can really see that the lint and dirt is being removed but if you're going to brush up you want to make sure to brush it back down because otherwise it can make it just makes the nap go in the wrong direction and that's not what you want because it makes it look just like a less expensive material. <sighs> Lots of hairs are flying out. So I think that I will do this every time I notice this coat start to collect. 
some debris and dust and hair and this will just maintain the coat, keep it looking good because when you let things that are like dirty or messed up in various ways stay like that for a while it'll just make it even harder to clean and you'll just let it go for too long and you'll kind of like pass the point of no return for example if you don't take care of your leather products and you don't want to do that so that's why it's important to maintain the things that you have it is really dark so I'm sorry that it's hard to see like what part exactly I'm working on but it's honestly it doesn't need to be over complicated it's pretty self-explanatory you just brush it I think I'm like a wool suit where the felt it's not really like a felt like this I think you wouldn't want to brush up you can just brush down and that'll remove any dust like perhaps that has collected from it hanging in your closet I'm really happy with how this is looking it's really removing a lot of the lint that a lint roller couldn't take up. I'm finding that with brushing up on this coat, it'll like remove the hairs and the dust, and then I'll just brush it back down to smooth out the felt. Yeah, so asking for this for Christmas was part of wanting to take care of my garments more, transition to making more content centered around maintenance and mending and maintaining and taking investment in the things you already own in the way of time. I'm excited to hear how the brushing of this coat sounds when I edit it because I'm really into ASMR lately. So I hope you're enjoying this too. Well, I think that really improved the look of this coat and it will extend the life of it because it will prevent pilling. Thank you so much for mending and maintaining with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you give this video a like if you'd like to see more sustainable related fashion content from me. Yeah, if you're new, I would love and so greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Um, I'm so grateful for all of my subscribers, and I love making videos, um, so thank you for letting me do this. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye!